amount of money <laughs> that we got yes, last year. What we don't know is, is we don't know additional uh, building that took place. Right. And last year that was, uh, and, what, 2.9? And that's why. Okay, and that part. But, but what I wanted to say is, is my concern all the way along has been is, is <laughs> where you start makes a big difference on where you end up. And I'm starting, and I started this position since the cost of living for people in Brazos County has gone up across the board, not just Brazos County employees, that we start with a perspective of we're not going to ask for additional tax revenue on existing properties in order to be able to accomplish what we need. I believe the consensus of this body has been that we would not, and that wasn't even a discussion, it was an understanding. Well, that's, I, I that's why I wanted to bring it, that's why I wanted to bring it to we, a formal if conversation. If we don't understand that, we'll have to uh, look at having a, a, an election to have that approved. We're not doing that. No, I haven't said anything we, about exceeding the voter approved rate. Well, we're not doing that either. Okay. No. But give the Well, process that's the only time we chance. would have to have an election. Give the process a chance. We're not there yet. Okay. I, I, I disagree with you, and I think it's very important that we start with a perspective of let's not increase the cost of living on property owners or the cost of doing Again, business on property owners in Brazos County in order to do this. Commissioner, that would be the target that I, I think we should, we should look toward. Again, I reiterate that has never been our thinking. Not even the staff would have brought something like that to us. And they have not. That's why we have our staff and we're plugging in numbers because we know there is a figure we're not going to go over. Okay? That we know that. And is that number the is that number the no new revenue rate, or is that number what we assume to be the uh, voter approved rate? Um, Katie, <laughs> can you address that? What what is the number? I mean, we had a, a workshop on that. It was given and shared with all of us, and I thought we left that workshop understanding the figure you gave us, or Nina, and you worked up. The revenue calculation was based on the exact same property taxes budget that was set for the 2021, no, 21-22. I'm traveling back in time. Exactly. And if we budget. go back to this figure here that we looked at, We had five point. I can't. I'm on, I, I my bigger? eyes aren't that good. Five point three six million. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five five point three six million. That was there. Well, if we do the seven and a half percent cola plus one percent merit, that takes that out. That's gone. Okay, and then we take. Uh, What's the total of what you've got right there? Four and a half, five, five one. Okay. So you're 200K in the, in the plus column? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, yes. 300, 350K in the plus column, right? Are you with yes. me? Are you looking at the numbers? Okay. Then we've got five point, or now reduced down to four point. Three million in personnel requests. Yeah, you don't get there. We've broken the bank at the no new revenue rate. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's why I have expressed the concerns all the way along and why Tuesday before, a Tuesday week ago, I expressed the concerns over making a statement that the seven and a half percent plus one percent was out there because we are we, we have broken the no new revenue bank 
That is not the what final. Found? I don't. I don't see it that way. <laughs> that is well, not the I final. Mean, then, then if you could, then if you could come up with some numbers that indicate to, something to me different than the numbers we're seeing, we've said we said the facts don't lie. The numbers don't add up. Maybe maybe I'm obtuse here a little bit, and I haven't seen where we're going to make up the difference between the two that were just the numbers that we had up there and may, still maintain the no new revenue. Rate. May I suggest that the process has just begun. We still have more work and we will accomplish the goal. We have always accomplished the goal. Well, and that's why I'm asking the question, Commissioner. I mean, is the goal to enact a budget that will be uh, one that we can use at the no new revenue rate or are we already building in all goal. or all or a part of the three and a half percent voter approved rate increase on taxpayers Com so, so let me ask commissioners question, katie does that does the number include the new valuation no sir it does okay. not so there's, there's money there <coughs> which just was, because you've gone right, which was about three. and you still could look at Okay. That's if you spend exactly the same thing on the same things that you did last year. So you take a look at the whole overall budget and whether there are ways you can trim what you're doing in other areas to bring you to bring that that number back. So and and so employees, uh, the salaries. Uh, I mean, I believe that that and have believed all along that the employees are where we need to take care of right now because, I mean, we hear the sheriff's office talking about trying to get uh, employees in and the, and the difficulty in recruiting. I hear it from others. I mean, it's, it's not just the county, it's everywhere. Recruiting help is a, I, is I don't disagree with any of those one. points. I don't disagree with any of those points. This is one, uh, for one portion. Just one portion. Yeah. Well, depending upon where we establish things, uh, let, let's 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 just go on the assumption that our additional revenue is what it was last year from new construction, from new property value, and that number was what was that about 2.9 million? Well, we know that's not going to be it, but well, let's just make the assumption for for planning purposes. Okay. Was wasn't that two point nine million? Do you remember Nina? New property revenue last year. It was two point nine is what how you used to budget, yes. Okay. So even with the with the four hundred with the four point three million, okay, you, you brought up the new new values. Okay. With the uh Adjusted now 4.3 million and the 5 million. I just put in 2 million just for grants. That we've talked about here, we've exceeded it. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, there's a private conversation going on. If I may, one of the things that I need to point out to you is that we generally, on average, create nine new positions a year. It may be that the presentation is more in your face than previous years. I apologize for that. Um, I do want to point out, though, that average is nine positions a year, and then 4.2 is 28 positions. Just information. Well, like I said, that's why I've spent the emphasis today talking about reclassifications as opposed to new employees but I mean I maybe somebody else can show me the numbers but with an assumption of two million dollars in new revenue from new property I'm sorry there's another private conversation going on or is there a reason that these need to be private conversations instead of including all of us well other than I've we have a fundamental mine, maybe that we have a fundamental disagreement I stay and I will continue to say we must complete the process. Pulling one well, we're, factor we're, out is okay. not going to give anybody the clear picture of what okay. we're going to end up with. We have not said, well, we have said we wanted to use that 
figure of 7.5 to give us a guesstimate. That's all. No, and the we, one. We, we codified. And I favored that. It was codified with a vote. Pardon me? It, it was codified with a vote. No, to use that. That's not what we voted, sir. Well, we have not like yet said, approved well, let me, the budget. Let me, draw, let me just draw the conversation to a close. I would I, appreciate it because it seems yeah. like I, as a nothing we say is going to satisfy your thinking, and I'm still saying. Well, I'm, I'll just say it. I'll just summarize it once again. I thought I had before, but again. let me just summarize it once again and make make it perfectly perfectly clear from my perspective. Oh, you're very clear. We understand. Okay, then you tell me what I'm what my, what my point is. You said it several times. Then you tell me. If we if you're very clear, you tell me. You're not happy with us set well, my take on this is Okay. You're not then it's happy not yet. very clear. Yeah, if it you is. say your take on it, that's not what I've said. What okay. I've said, and let me clarify that without being interrupted, please, and I will be done, is is I will not vote for and support a budget that increases compensation to Brazos County employees at the levels that has been voted upon recommended if it requires an increase in cost to property owners in Brazos County. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, and again, I mean, you, and I know you know that just because um, if, if if we set it at the the uh, no new revenue, that doesn't mean that somebody's individual property is not going to. I understand. Okay. I understand I the just, details of how the it way works. You stated, no, I, I get how it's it works to the public. So I, 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 make it I, clear I thought to the I made that clear that I understood it, that when I clarified public. that when I was talking with uh, Judge uh, with our JP two. I thought that well, I made that clear that I understood well, that. the way you stated it, to me it sounded like you're not going to raise anybody's property tax, which no, is not an accurate way to say it. That's so, not in our Okay. okay. And, and again, as you build a budget, you put things, you put proposed things in, yeah. and well, as you get toward the end, and if you're over whatever your goal is, then you have to figure out what are you going to do then. Yeah. Do you not add anything else in? Do you cut somewhere, or do you cut what we've already plugged in? That doesn't, just because you've got a number plugged in, that's the way you build a budget. You've well, got to be able to. All I can tell is, is from looking at the numbers that I see projected, and I've summarized them here once again, we have exceeded what I think is the appropriate way for us to, to uh, fund our needs, which is 70% roughly property tax. We've, we've exceeded that with the things that we've already talked about here. And that could be an accurate statement? It might not be. Okay. Uh -huh. if, 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 we're, if we're saying that facts and figures tell the truth, then maybe somebody needs to show well, me we'll some facts and figures that are different than what I'm seeing so far. We don't okay. have all the facts nor the figures. I would right. offer the also offer the information that in FY 2021, four re new positions were requested. However, in FY 21, 22, 20.25 were requested. Again, just information. I did not understand that, Katie. Would you say? Please. <laughs> Fiscal year 2021. We're in trouble. October of 20. Through September, that request, only four new positions. But for the current fiscal year, the original request put into budget was 20 positions. However, the average actually created is nine. So a request of 28 is abnormal compared to 2021, but I don't know that the request of 28 is extra and in, in excess of what's been requested in the previous years back in 2020 back in 2021 um, it was asked for the departments to decrease budget because it was coming back off of COVID and yeah. so it was less requ less requests um, not many 
wishes or um, the department's elected officials were able to do with what they could have with 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 what they already had. And as we're coming back up out of COVID, I guess now they're seeing the effects of um, the emptiness or holes in their own departments. Right. And and we're to consider this and attempt to use what we have to take care of the needs. But we don't know what the needs are right. until we until follow we, the process. Until we finish the budget process and find out what our assessed value is. And we make adjustments as needed at that point. No one is wanting to raise taxes. That's one of the things, as long as I've been here, we haven't we have tried not to do, and that's not Irma Cauley, but that's the practice of our commissioner's court. We pay taxes too. We live here. We love Brazos County, and the staff of Brazos County is hurting. Bottom line, bottom line, we have, we have, budgeted on the backs of our employees to a point where we can't fill positions now. We need to adjust. That's all. Okay. I don't think we need an executive session. I mean, there was one listed if we need one, but as far as I know, we don't need an executive session. Um, the I will tell you that we hope to have some numbers with regards to debt service, if not next workshop, maybe the workshop after that on July 5th. Okay. So, so Katie, the process is, is that we're going to go along and just assume that every one of these requests that we're going to be able to accept them. No, and then, no, 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 sir. Oh, no, okay, sir. I'm asking Katie, but I'll ask you, Commissioner. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, just to understand the process is we've gone way above what we've ever done in the past just with our proposed cost of yes. living and we've gotten a lot of requests for new new positions and yes, to me sir. this thing is heading in a direction that we're not going to be able to hit the the no new revenue tax okay. rate so the I only thing i heard the court say yeah. or kind of give a head nod today was on the jail their request yes. and and i don't think we added any of the new positions in here no. i don't think anybody was talking about that so okay. If, if we didn't, okay. the, the seven, seven and a half percent, mm -hmm. we talked about it, and then we actually put it on an agenda to add it to the proposed budget. Yes. That's what Katie's yeah. after, is what she what to plug into that proposed so, budget. So my question... We did, we did not add any positions into the proposed budget right. today. Right. So, so my question to Katie would be, based on that, does it appear that we're going to be able to hit the no new revenue tax rate? I think that's the whole question. We all would if like we, to have no new if, revenue tax rate. With the direction that we're on right now, does that appear to Katie to be where we're headed, or are we going to be above that? Where we sit right now is if the preliminary property tax estimates given to us in May by the appraisal district it looks like we're going to have an additional two million or less I, i'm it's actually more than that i'm very 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 conservative conservative is built through this thing i can't even tell you all the places if there's a approximately two million in new revenue we are currently that'll give us an extra 1.6 that we haven't expensed ex budgeted to expend 1.6. Yes, it, two million minus account. the 333,000 I've given been give, given direction on as of today. We still have one more workshop with new positions. I would hope that maybe Commissioner's Court could give direction on reclassifications, um, maybe at the end of, of next agenda, mostly because they affect so many things. They affect merit, and it's just the ball rolling. It is not a promise. <laughs> I know, and, and if we have to stay, talk about overtime. The 10 days up here, 24 hours a day, I think there's a shower up there. Um, we will make it, we will figure out what it takes. This is, is, honestly, this is kind of, it is the normal process. The county judge saw, and actually all of y'all saw the request before. Yeah. It just, 
asking for direction at the end of the presentation is a little bit different. Right. Um, a lot of that uh, determination was made previously by the county judge when it was the county judge's budget. So it's a little bit different now yeah. in yes. that it it's here. Um, and I, I would like to thank Katie for helping us. Uh, Katie and Nina, stay on target. I see you as vital to this process. Um, the numbers or figures that we're asking for, you're, you're uh, quick to provide them, and that's what we need. We, we're still working at ideas of what we're able to do. We're not there yet, and that's why I keep saying we have to complete the process. But completing the process doesn't mean we're buying everything that's been brought to us. I mean, we get these requests every year, and every year we have to decide. Part of the job is to decide what we can fund and what we can't. I would also suggest at the end of the, the positions, which is last workshop, this workshop, and next workshop, yes. based on your direction, right. we will probably do something similar on the regular commissioner's court agenda on what to include in the proposed. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, the 10 day between proposed and adoption, and there's a lot of indication that you should adopt the same day you propose, um, <laughs> that, that 10 days will be very restrictive. And so, mm -hmm. and so we just have to piecemeal it. I, yeah. I, but we're, we're getting there. Okay. Has Brazos, well, we County, will... has Brazos County ever, uh, I know it hasn't since I've been a member of the commissioner's court, have, have we ever adopted a tax rate that was a no new revenue rate the effect aka used or, to be effective or what tax used rate. to be the effective tax the rate effective prior to the prior to the senate bill 2 legislation i don't know that we have that comparison have we ever have we ever adopted as brazos can, county can you ever research adopted that and give us that information because I, I know our it, next i know meeting? i know they have not I know that has not been the case since I've been a member of the commissioner's court. And that might very well be, but I'd like them to research it and let us know. The effective... What was it compared to the adopted? Tax. Well, what was called the effective right. tax rate before Senate yes, Bill 2, exactly. now called the no new revenue. Will adjourn? Exactly. Does anybody know the score? Five to nothing. Five to nothing? Five to nothing? Yes, sir. Right, and we're ahead. Thank yeah. you all. All right. Good. And Thank you all. Good. Yep, we're still on the mountains. Well, we haven't gone out.